everyone. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm so used to say good evening, so I, <laughs> I just want to make sure that I don't say good evening. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures and today's screening of Secret Sunshine. My, yes. Thank you. My name is Hesong Yi, and I'm part of the film programs team here at the museum. Today is the fourth screening program uh, of our limited film series, Hong Gang Ho, which is an extensive screening series surveying the remarkable works of actor Hong Gang Ho. Three nights ago, we kicked off this series with a screening of Parasite by Bong Joon-ho, followed by screenings, screenings of Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance by Park chan Wook and Memories of Murder by Bong Joon-ho, three days in a row. We did that, and, and they were all followed by in-person conversations with Song Gang-ho on this very stage. And I must say it's really sad that today is the last day we'll have Song Gang-ho here with us in person. Um, I'm definitely getting sad, more and more sad, but uh, but hopefully in the future we'll be able to have him back here for um, this type of uh, program and in this type of capacity. So just fingers crossed, one day will happen. I must say, uh, Secret Sunshine, directed by Lee Chang Dong, who is one of the greatest writers and directors ever in my book, is one of my one of my type, top favorite films ever. And it is my honor to present this film and uh, post-screening conversation with Song Gang-ho today, later, in person. And um, I'll thank him later, but uh, again, but uh, I cannot thank him enough for traveling all the way from Korea just to participate in, you know, in this series. Um, it just, I think it just took so much out of him, but I think he's really happy that he is um, here participating because I think his thing is like connecting with the audience is the like number one thing. So yeah, thank you Song Gang-ho, wherever you are, if you're, you can hear me. <laughs> okay, thinking about uh, Secret Sunshine, generally, um, not only for today, but generally triggers so many different types of emotions or like, emotional responses within me. Um, and I'm really looking forward to learning about like how you respond to this film and how um, and his story, Song Gang Ho's story uh, about just this film and working in this film with the director and other actors. So looking forward to that. Uh, Secret Sunshine will screen in 35 millimeter print. Yes, from our own Academy Film Archive. Thank you, thank you to the Academy um, Film Archive's team. Uh, this film is about two hour and 20 minutes. It's a little lengthy, but I promise that I think every single minute of this film, this duration is really precious. This series is presented in part by a grant from the Korea Foundation. And thank you so much, everyone at the Korea Foundation in Jeju office, but especially many, 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 many thanks to Director Yoon Chang Shik and the senior programmer and uh, program manager Amy Chu at the Korea Foundation Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Where are you? Yes, Amy. Yes. Also, thank you to our wonderful community partners who helped promote this series, uh, who are coalitions, Coalition of Asian Pacifics in Entertainment, Gold House, Kyopo, Korean Culture Center Los Angeles. Koreatown, Koreatown Youth and Community Center and UCLA Center for Korean Studies. Thank you so much, everyone, for your help and support. <laughs> and lastly, kindly refrain from eating or drinking except sips of water and keep your phones off or silenced throughout the entire program, please. And also there will be a trailer of this very series will play, uh, they will play before the feature begins. I hope you enjoy the film and hopefully you won't feel too heavy when you get out of this film. Because <laughs> I always, I don't know, I just, but, but there's a hope. Okay, I won't spoil it. Um, anyway, so see you soon with Song Gang Ho in person on this stage uh, after the film ends. Thank you so much, everyone. So now we're ready for this, yeah? Please give a big round of applause for Mr. Song Gang-ho to the stage. How are you today? Uh, thank you. 
And this is Chiwon. Uh, she'll be translating today. She's awesome. Wow, I am really emotional because uh, this last day, uh, the weekend with him in person. Uh, I don't want to let him go, but I know I have to because Korea is waiting for him. I can beat Korea, the whole country. So first of all, um, I like this. Well, the, the film I think was a little bit dense and heavy. So I like to start with a very serious question, which is his appearance, how he looked in the film. Um, so first of all, I like to um, hear about how it was decided how you look, how he looks. Let's say talking about really heavy gel hairstyle, like very sleazy hairstyle, and um, and this really kind of flashy or fancy outfit that you often see in the more like a suburb, like countryside in Korea. Um, I just yeah, I just like to know like who who gave you gave the direction and and yeah. 우선 <웃음> 이렇게 화창하고 조, 정말 좋은 날씨에. 이렇게 무겁고 슬픈 영화를 보여드려 가지고 너무 죄송하다는 말씀을 우선 드리겠습니다. <웃음> 그 이제 미량이라는 그 한국의 조그마한 도시가 있는데 그 뜻이 음, 하, 어, 이제 그 영화 속 어, 제목하고 똑같은 거죠. 이렇게 비밀의 햇볕, 어, Secret Sunshine이라는 뜻을 가진 지방 소도시가 있어요. 어, 그러다 보니까 대도시도 아니고 어, 그러니까 시골인 거죠. 어, 서울에서 봤을 때는. 그런데 이제 제가 그 미량을 대표하는 어, 캐릭터인데 어, 가장 평범하게 살아가고 있는 어, 그리고 나름대로 어, 본인이 굉장히 그 현실에 잘 적응하고 있고 어, 막 그런 어떤 인물인 거죠. 그러다 보니까 아무래도 외모가 어, 그렇게 멋스럽고 또 세련되고 이런 외모보다는 그렇게 하, 하고 싶은데 여자가 있으니까 그게 되게 촌스럽게 보이게끔 이제 어, 이창농 감독님께서 아주 정교하게 에, 설정하지 않았나 생각이 듭니다. 그 살도 좀 많이 찌우고. 에. Talking about the weight, so I like to like how much did you have to gain, and how was it kind of on your will or director had to pressure you a lot for that? 어 그건 감독님이 시키 시키진 않았고요. 에 제가 자연스럽게 어 캐릭터에 맞춰 가지고 조금 어 제가 막 굉장히 날씬하고 원래 저의 모습으로 나오면은 너무 안 어울릴 것 같아 가지고 <웃음> 농담입니다. <laughs> no, he's cool because in the yeah. film he says that he's, you know, I'm, I live cool like that. Like, but also for the record, I want to set this record. I think in many interviews he had mentioned that, like, you know, I'm not good looking. I'm just like ordinary and all that. I keep telling him, you kind of should stop saying that because honestly, like, my friends, my personal friends, tell me that he looks like he's like chic, and like I've heard him like. And people talk about it like sexy, especially um, people who watch this. So yeah, I want to set the record straight here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. No, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Lucky Mrs. Song. Where, where is she? <laughs> um, well, talking about, I guess, Secret Sunshine, he meant that the Miryang means Secret Sunshine um, in English, just like this title. For me, this is my personal take, I guess. Uh, for me, that um, his character that they portrayed is Secret Sunshine. The only thing is, I mean, I want to get into a little bit something that's a little bit maybe deeper, or I'm just, you know, being a little bit more poetic than I should be. Um, I guess the the character Shine to me, it's like she's very out there. She's like pouring it out, just like very visible her emotions. Um, and then, of course, in the film, we talk about what's not in invisible, right? But what you can't see, right? And I feel like that interior power interior strength that kind of drive you you you're for, like you around the force i feel like that's kind of like how chong chan is in the in the film but what's amazing about his performance in that is that he he does it so always so like 
lightly, so lightly or naturally, where it's like, how do you do that, but still you are able to convey this kind of dense message? I just want to know how you approach this character. Um, uh, 사실 이제 외모도 이제 어, 일부러 그렇게 좀 약간 평범하다 못해 좀 촌스러운 어떤 외모. 어, 이 영화가 이제 이창동 감독께서 이제 관객분들에게 전달하고 싶은 것은 글쎄요 감히 제가 이제 표현을 하자면은 사실 우리가 이제 이좀이 구원에 대한 과연 신이라는 존재가 과연 우리가 알고 있는 그 시, 신이 신이 정말 있나 없나 뭐 있든 없든 그 신의 존재는 과연 어디에 있는 건가 근데 알고 보니 내 옆에 이 보잘 것 없는 남자가 비밀의 햇볕이 그러니까 시, 어떤 구원의 어떤 메시아가 아닌가라는 어떤 그러니까 우리의 마음 속에서 구원은 우리 마음 속에서 아주 그 마지막 특히 마지막 앵글이 이렇게 카메라가 이렇게 보잘 것 없는 그 마당 한 귀퉁이에 쓰레기들이 있는 그 보잘 것 없는 곳을 비추는 것이 이렇게 그 햇볕이 약간 스며든 이 구덩이 속에 이런 보잘 것 없는 곳에서 우리의 마음의 평안과 구원과 모든 것이 있다라는 어떤 그런 주제를 얘기를 하시는 것 같아요. 그래서 종찬이 제가 제가 맡은 종찬은 가장 평범하다 못해 좀 촌스럽고 심지어 취향도 아닌 남자임에도 불구하고 가장 이 신의 그 여주인공의 구원의 대상 그러니까 구원을 해줄 수 있는 정말 이 사람이 햇볕이 아닌가라는 어떤 어, 우리 삶의 어떤 어, 구원의 구원과 신 신이라는 존재에 대해서 말씀하시지 않았나 이렇게 생각이 듭니다. Totally, I totally agree. Um, because to me, I mean, first Jung Chan's interest for Shin and was kind of like romantic, right? One of that of romantic. But I feel like as time progresses and him witnessing, basically him just being there for her and witnessing her her agony, I feel like he he's Jung Chan's approach to her or or feelings or whatever towards her was more like almost like a spiritual, almost like a that of a parent, that of a brother or um, that of a, you know, I don't know, protector, basically. And to me, that's what he's so amazing. Um, Mr. Song is so amazing that in many films that um, he's in, I feel like he's so, I don't, I don't, he's so good at, I mean, just great at conveying characters that you feel like you could sympathize not because like it's a it's like uh, not because of the through the only screen or you know through the film itself but also it kind of reminds you of someone that you've seen someone you know in your real life and I would like to know how he approaches uh, approaches characters generally um, yeah I would like to know just general approach so uh, no more 과찬을 해 주셔 가지고 너무 감사한데 음. 그러니까 어 저도 이제 그 여주인공의 그 고통을 지켜보고 주변에만 이렇게 빙빙빙빙 도는 존재죠. 더 가까이 갈 가지도 않고 또더 멀어지지도 않고 항상 주변에 빙빙빙 도는 이 존재를 통해 가지고 어 정말 우리의 마음의 신은 어디인가라는 질문을 던지는 영화가 아닌가. 그래서 연기할 때도 어, 그 지점에서 굉장히 어, 중점을 많이 뒀고 어, 예를 들어 대표적으로 이제 여주인공이 어, 길을 가다가 어떤 2층에 있는 그 기도하는 교회에 가서 이렇게 오열을 하는 장면에서 사실은 그 바로 뒤, 뒤에 앉아 있는 어, 포지션인데 제가 감독님한테 아무래도 제 자리는 여기가 아닌 것 같다. 그러니까 감독님께서 그럼 어디 바로 뒤라는 얘기를 드린 적이 있습니다. 그래서 바로 뒷줄이 아니라 그 뒷줄에 앉아 있는 이 존재가 종찬의 존재가 아닌가. 어, 왜냐하면은 만약에 그 앞에서 그냥 나란히 나란히는 아니지만 그 바로 뒷줄에 앉아 있다면은 이 종찬은 음, 잘못된 존재가 아닌가. 더더이이이 이, 이 주인공의 인생에 더 깊숙이 들어가는. 아, 그런 거는 이 영화의 주제를 
말 어, 어, 표현하는데 굉장히 위험하다는 생각을 했기 때문에 제 스스로가 바로 한줄더 한 뒤로 간 어, 어, 그런 에피소드가 있습니다. 그러니까 어, 그런 어떤 어, 생각을 가지고 항상 한 걸음 뒤에서 끝까지 어, 가는 것이 음, 제 캐릭터의 어떤 가장 음, 중요한 지점이라고 생각을 하고 연기했어요. Amazing. I think that's amazing because yes. I think it's amazing because I think this this notion I think runs parallel to what uh, me as an audience usually feels when I watch him on screen, where I feel like he's not like per se in my face all the time, no matter what. Even if he's portraying like really heavy emotional character, it's always there's always little room, and I think that he's like almost like a master of playing with that little space, right? And I think instead of like he's coming at you, it's more like okay, he's telling you to come, right, and join him um, in his experience. And right now, I'm just basically praising him. I don't know where I'm. I'm going with this question. I'm just always just impressed by <laughs> by um, his performance. But I think um, next question could be, I guess. Um, so Yi Chang, director Yi Chang Dong, whenever I watch his film. Um, generally, the, sto the base storyline is more like based on the reality, real people, right? Um, it's not like a zombie or you know something like that. But I think that in his film, what I really appreciate is that he, there's always this like magical moments. I don't know what it is, but it's like more than a physical physical form. It's it's like a metaphysical, almost spiritual. Um, and I think Mr. Song did such a great. Um, great job, you know, portraying Jong Chan and bringing this magic to us. Um, but I would like to know how he, it was to work with Lee Chang Dong. When was your first encounter and how did this project um, come about? Everyone, the character of Lee Chang Dong is a very important character in the Korean film. 어, 분이시죠. 그것은 이제 작품 수는 그렇게 많지는 않지만 어, 데뷔작 초록물고기라는 작품부터 제가 같이 했었는데 어, 그, 뭐, 그 초록물고기와 이 미량이 딱두 편을 같이 했었는데 어, 그 그러니까 흔히 얘기하는 리얼리즘이라는 어떤 세계를 어, 그 깊이감의 어떤 어, 철학적인 어떤 어, 본인이 가지고 있는 철학의 어떤 깊이감이라는 것은 참 이루 말할 수 없을 정도로 깊은 분이 아니신가 어, 그렇게 생각이 좀 아시는 분들도 많이 계시겠지만 어, 그래서 뭐 어, 아주 어, 뭐 후배 영화인들이 굉장히 존경하고 또 작품으로도 어, 그분의 어떤 깊은 세계를 설명해 주시는 분이시죠. How um, I almost spoke Korean. So um, how how is it working with him? Is it like um, compared to other directors that he works with, like uh, like maybe director Bong Joon Ho or Park Chan Wook, like in comparison? 어 저는 굉장히 이창동 감독님을 존경하다 못해 굉장히 좋아하는데 어 대부분의 배우분들이 조금 어려워하셔요. 왜 어려워하시냐면은 약 그러니까 그 이제 뭐랄까 어 아주 디테일하게 뭔가를 지시를 한다기보다는 이 전체적인 어떤 어, 어 얘기나 인물에 대한 얘기를 하시기 때문에 조금 이게 좀 어렵게 바, 받아들이는 경향이 있습니다. 예, 저, 근데 저는 그게 오히려 배우로서 어, 어떻게 보면 어려울 수도 있지만 여백이 더 생기는 것 같아요. 예, 제가 그 여백을 채울 수 있는 빈 공간을 이창동 감독님은 자연스럽게 배우가 그 여백을 채울 수 있게끔 이렇게 만들어주는 예, 그 연출이 저는 개인적으로 너무 좋고 힘들지만 너무 어떤 배우로서의 어떤 의욕이나 할까 어, 어떤 연기에 대한 어떤 그 뭐랄까 막그 열정 같은 게 자연스럽게 생기지 않았나라는 생각이 듭니다. It's amazing because um, I think again it runs parallel to what I usually perceive of him, is that um, he, yes he's an actor he does acting, um, but I feel like to me he's more than an actor. I think he's just basically just artist because I think the way he performs in um, films is that 
I think he sees more than just what he, what he's doing. You know, like what I mean is that I feel like he's so good with using the space, physical space and mental space, obviously, uh, props. And also I feel like the way he's like um, letting the other actors also enter like the realm of this like um, um, art space, I think that's just almost like amazing. And I feel like I don't really see that in many acting like actors, you know, and that's why I'm like huge fan of his. Sorry, praising him again. Um. <laughs> 저녁밥은 제가 살게요. 그럼 그만, 예, 그만 칭찬 no, 하셔도 that, 됩니다. 예. No, I feel like I just want to almost like a, I just want everyone to know um, because I think he's just so humble. 아, 예약 해놨어요, 벌써. <laughs> okay. It's just uh, my own guilt of not, you know, paying for the my, my own meal, I guess. But I think it's also maybe um, sometimes like, you know, people talk about, I would say like Korean people, I think like sometimes like it's different culture where like, you know, being really humble and not really like talking about your your greatness is like virtue right and i think like his case is he, he's extremely extremely humble to the point i feel like do you understand how like important you are like do you really know um, so i just feel like i just want to like shout out to the world sorry just one uh. thank you on this note i want to talk about his singing so Yesterday, when we had a screening of Members of Murder, in the conversation, he mentioned that he's not a good singer, and he's really like, he's not good with like, beats and all rhythms, so, but here, you, you hear him singing, he's singing by himself, and then he's singing this um, Christian like, gospels. So I'd like to know, like, was it difficult to sing in this film as well? I no, 그 반주도 나오고 가사도 나오고 이래서 그렇게 어렵지는 않고 어, 아주 재밌게 불렀던 기억이 납니다. 장면은 되게 슬픈 장면이지만. 네. Glad to hear that. Um, I think we can, unless he has anything to say, I think we can just stop here. But since this is the very last day that he'll be here with us on this stage, I'd like to thank him so much. I think I couldn't thank him enough because to me, it's like he doesn't have to do this. Like he's already he's already there, right? Um, and I know he's super busy. I think as soon as he returns to Korea, he had basically his schedule is like packed. So I really really appreciate it. And also, um, what he conveyed uh, to me is that I think he decided to go for this because of the audience. He really meant it. So I think his thing is connecting with you all. Um, so. Um, I think we should feel very fortunate that he's here for us, literally. Um, so thank you so much again. But 마지막으로 소감 한 번만 부탁드릴게요. 그래서 그 이게 16년 전쯤의 영화고 그리고 정말 앞서 말씀드린 대로 이게 참 편한 영화가 아니고 또 재밌는 영화도 아니고 내 가슴을 이렇게 아프게 하는 영화를 여러분들께 이렇게 선보이는 게 맞나 좀 고민을 그 전에 좀 했었어요. 좀 재미있고 막 이런 영화를 우선 신나게 보시는 게 낫지 않나 생각을 했지만 어 그래도 한국의 이창동과 전도연과 어 이런 훌륭한 예술가들이 있다라는 것을 여러분들께 꼭 한번 어어 작품을 통해서 그리고 어 정말 이창동이라는 어 예술가의 어떤 깊은 어떤 세계를 한번 어또 선보이는 것도 어 나쁘지 않겠다 생각해서 했는데 왠지 여러분들 마음이 좀 무거우실 것 같아 가지고 좀 그거 좀 죄송하게 생각합니다. <웃음> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 너무 감사합니다. Yeah. Yeah. 네. Thank you. It was Mr. Songkang everyone.